to the third, and I think final, we'll see how it goes, travel vlog. Today, we are going to the fashion show mall. We're staying in the Palazzo, which is right by the Venetian. Uh, so it's just across the street. It's very, very convenient if you like that end of the strip. Look what you can get. In the middle of the fashion show mall, in like a souvenir shop, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen, like individual shooters. It's like half a, is it half a jelly shot? I oh, know it's not, it's just half like a milky shot and half a regular. This is so bizarre. We're having the proper Philly cheesesteak from the fashion show mall that we really, really like. And the kids have got pizza with a nice view. This sweet shop is right at the bottom of the elevator when we come out of our hotel room. Super dangerous. I'm not a super super kid myself. Oh my god, what is this? I think they're syrup. But I do appreciate the cuteness of the sweet shop. And it has led to purchases in the past. Oh my goodness. How cute are they? I got uh, shrimp tacos at Hooters and they look amazing. I'm so hungry. About a curfew, cause all that is stuck in my head It's me and you, all speed in my heart is racing But I'm not sure I wanna pace it Cause it only does this with you We've come to Excalibur to play the amusement Because they were our favourite amusements last time And Milo is, um, <laughs> pulling faces at me Because he says we're playing against each other I love it, mess around for the thrill of it we were just playing this like ski ball horse race thing and I won a horse! I have no one, like at the end of it he was like which one do you want? I said I don't know what you're talking about. And even I had one. Wheel of Fortune was by far my favourite game. Things are going well for Milo. Apparently he got several bonuses, which is what he told us he was going to do yesterday. 500 and 100. Things are going less well for Ella. She's not taking it very well. the Hoover Dam and it is just as impressive as I remember. I haven't been here for 10 years. Impressive but incredibly hot. Yeah it's a hot day I'm hanging in the sunshine You should hit me with the splash gun so I cool down Apparently if you rub the toes of the statue it will bring you good luck. My love's hoping it means that It'll take away all of the heat because he is hot and tired today. Free valet at the Palazzo has been a major, major perk so far. Now it's Paul time. because everybody enjoyed it and we're hoping Milo will stay up late enough so we can actually see the fountains before we go. Milo's making some wishes in the forum shop fountain. 
this will never cease to be really cool to me. Let's see what Donald Trump has to say. And now I'm going to give you value for your money. Heed my words, friend. It's better to keep your mouth shut and be thought a fool than to drop your gums and remove all doubt. You're going to get so tired of winning. Make America great. Milo has been watching the fish in the fish tank while we wait for our buzzer to go off the cheesecake factory. Is it coming? Oh, the stingray! You were right. And I just went over to Bath and Body Works and picked up some stuff I will show you in another video. Exciting times! We've got a table. I'm having the same thing that I had the other night. However, this time it's a full portion. I swear, I've struggled to finish the last one. But I can't have a lunchtime portion at dinner and I have to have this. We're just getting ready to leave our hotel room. I genuinely don't want to leave Vegas. And just like that, we're in Santa Monica. I've left my camera in the car. I hope it's not in my bag. Um, so I'm gonna film a little bit on my phone. We haven't really got very much time left. This is our last few hours that we're spending here. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Super 70s theme, so if you're into that at all, you will love it. The pool is totally what sold us on this when we booked it. All of this kind of light up, and it's all kind of like golden and glowy at night time. There are festoon lights over all the dining areas. Oh, and there's music. Always 70s music piped in at the pool. It's just like something else. I mean, what did I tell you? Ideally, I would live here and work here. This, I believe, is a portrait of someone called Beverly Garland, who is the um, co-owner or co-founder of this hotel. The hotel is called The Garland. It was her and her husband that founded the hotel, I believe. And then this, obviously, is like all lit at night time, and it's just gorgeous. If you're into this aesthetic, there is no better hotel that I can think of. This is the restaurant that we ate in last night. I wanted to come here for the first part of our stay. This is our first, not first, this is our last night. I've made everybody stay out a little bit later. Amazingly, miles to the way. And the food looks amazing. I'm finally having a lemon drop. Molly at work. Molly, you remember little Molly? She told me I had to try one and the server told me, in not quite so many words, that it was basically a young person drink, like a starter drink. Um, do you know what? It's delicious and I'll be having another. And again, all festoon lights and kind of glowy gorgeousness. And I am genuinely bereft to be leaving because I'm not sure whether or not we'll come back to LA. It was a lot of traffic, but at least not for a long time. Um, and I think just a lot in general stuff that we've already seen now that we perhaps don't need to see again. But it's such a beautiful hotel. I would come back here and just stay here and never go anywhere. We found Murder House from American Horror Story. We're on our way to the airport and we had to stop by because I found finally found where it actually is. This is so cool. I mean, I'm not sure whether or not all of this security will help them, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool to see. That was 
relatively painless, the um, security situation at LAX. I mean, it was absolutely manic, but pretty straightforward. Now we're gonna go eat some food.